Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. Today I'm going to teach you how to create scale bars for your plans and drawings. It might seem a simple enough task, but unless you have your model space set up correctly, your scale bars won't be accurate. So stay with me and let me show you how to create a scale bar that will be accurate and work with all your drawings. Scale bars. Sounds simple enough, but uh, I've known uh, people that just don't seem to know how to get it together or make it work. Uh, so if we're just going to check something quite quickly here. Uh, I've got a scale bar here. It's five meters and I just want to check, see how accurate that is. Um, up, up, up. There you go, five meters. Uh, so as you can see, the first meter I've broken it into uh, two hundred millimeter sections. Second section I've created uh, two sections at five hundred mil, and then there's uh, beyond that it's three one meter sections to make up five. Uh, so I've got a um, I've got a, um, a a worksheet open or a model space here, and I'm in model space. Um, and I've got a scale bar that works, so uh, theoretically I'm ready to go. But uh, it wouldn't be fair if I just uh, design a scale bar and put it below it to show you how we designed a scale bar, because it's not simply about that. Scale bars are useless if the page isn't set up right. So what I'm going to do is to make sure that uh, before we do anything, we open up or create a new page and then set it up for printing and then set up the scale bar to make sure it works. So, let, so let's do that. Uh, let's start with that. We're going to go new. New from oh, page setup wizard. Now let's do that. Uh, very important here is to choose if you're doing metric or imperial. So we're certainly doing metric. And we go next. Uh, nothing here I want to change. Nothing here I want to change. Nothing here I want to change. Uh, nothing here I want to change. Yeah, I'm going to just go finish. Uh, we got the grilled the grid on, which um, I'm not a big fan of, so we're going to pop that off. That's the icon at the top here. And now what I want to do is I want to set up the printing for this page. To do that, I will go into File, Page, uh, Setup. Now, if you're in the UK, um, all the planning drawings and all of the layouts, they're all done in a scale of, in a scale generally of one to 100. So once you get one scale working with the associated page, it's very simple to change the scale and to change the uh, scale bar, etc., etc. But what I want to do here is set up a page and we're setting up A3. Uh, A3 is the uh, paper size and drawing sheet size again A3. ISO A3. So now we're synced up and you can see here that it works. When it comes to the model space we always do one and one full size so never touch fit or reset. So we're basically okay there. Now if I was to pop back to my earlier um, worksheet or workspace. Let me just copy that, uh, which is one in 100. We've measured it already. We know it's absolutely accurate. So uh, let's go into the new uh, workspace or model space. Uh, and now let's see how accurate this is, because if I've done my job correctly, it's absolutely accurate. 100% accurate so it should be 5 meters okay it's uh, <laughs> the font is pretty small so let me just change the font over on here we increase the font size so that you can see straight away so format we're going to go to 75 here uh, so that you can actually see. So now let's get the dim tool out. Dim tool is the, the golden rule. 
uh, line and there you go you can see five meters one one two three four five meters so uh, what have we got here we got a scale bar that's 100 percent accurate uh, for the page and we've set up in metric and we've set up in a3 and the scale is 1 to 100 um, so hugely important that you do all that first so shall we do it again should we go through it or are you just going to rewind the video a little rewind the video and uh, what i'm going to do here is going to create a, a scale bar so the scale bar simple enough to create and we're going to model we're going to model that just to show you how easy it is to do so um, let me get a rectangle out and I'm going to go tab 200 times 20. Oops, tab 200, tab 20. There you go. Let's have a little look. And what we're going to do, we're going to replicate that. Uh, we can go, well, no, let, let's take the long way around, I think. Uh, Control C. Control V. So we're going to use copy tools. Two. Mm, control V. Mm, control V. Mm. All right. So now joining. We're going to use the. Uh, going to use the D. Putting it into D mode, so that it's good and accurate. Yeah, scale bars. You can make scale bars for absolutely anything, but they don't work on. What have I done here? Sorry, I should have been uh, focusing. But yeah, the scale bars. You can make them for any page and make them very easy. But what you got to make sure is that they all tie up with the page size and that the scale is accurate. So check everything. But in most important, sort out your page layout and. Um, let's get disconnected up. Right now, so I'm going to see Control C, and we're going to do right. So D again. There we go. So as you can see, we're matching. We're matching that one. So we got to except we got to black and white them a bit, yeah. So this one's gonna need a fill, and we can do the fill from up here. Do a color black. Color black. Color. Of course, you can use another color. Uh, change, change your mind as much as you want. Uh, color. Black. Color. Doesn't happen because I didn't do the uh, yeah, it'll black. So uh, we're on the right track. Of course we are. What happens? If we don't want to change. So let's do a group thing here. And watch what happens. And let's go mid. Let's go mid gray instead. Does that work? No. Because I pressed the wrong one. Silly boy. Right. Do it again. This was the mid gray I should have gone for. There we go. And <laughs> uh, we want to change the size. No. Are we going down? No, we don't. 
So now we want to do uh, the 500 one. So let's just grab one of those. And let's make it 500. So simple enough. Uh, we're doing five. And we're going to make this one. Again, this one's got white in it. Easiest way of doing it. So, um, the D ring five to do another one. Let's see. So, again, working with any of the CAD programs, this is basically uh, one way of doing it. You can do it in so many different ways. So, here we go. I'm using coffee, uh, copy and paste here. Uh, we could draw lines. You could have created a box then made lines. So let's just black out a few bits here. Um, we're using, and then we're using mid gray. And now we're doing a meter. So let's see if we can cheat now. We'll do it slightly different. See if we can make that one meter. Mm -hmm. Yep, stretch the two of them, which is absolutely fine. Flip them upside down. And you can see D. So we got one meter, we got two meters, we got three. Let's do another one of those. Um, and put that over there. Okay, that's the mats. Uh, check the numbers here. Five meters, it's perfect. Um, right, um, so let's see if I can make it a little bit thicker. So that people can actually see it a bit better. There you go. Hasn't interfered. Now, so these I can just take and One scale bar, one in 100. So as you can see, uh, creating a scale bar is not that, is not that difficult. Um, just be careful, as I say, in setting up the actual page first. You, um, 
in my view, what we do, uh, well, put it this way, what we do as standard is once we create a, a page that is properly scaled, has a scale bar, we generally make templates so that instead of having to do it all the time, you just open a template which will have a scale bar of say one to 100 or one to 50. So create all your pages with the different scale bars and you don't, you, all you need is about five or six of them and then uh, uh, work from there. Uh, you know, basically use templates for all your drawings. Right, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed. It's a simple project, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can now um, create your own scale bars and get, on, get ahead with your drawings. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you on the next video.